Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. My nombre es El Fecador. What's it been? Five days? Seven if you include the weekend? I mean, Dolly Davis is back today. Damn. I mean, hooray. Anyway, it's one big story for this news episode. The news pipeline has been brocked up. This is because Universal Champion Brock Lesnar made a surprise appearance at UFC 226 on Saturday night, coming out in the crowd to watch Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic vie for the heavyweight title. Yep, he can't turn up for work at WWE, but he has shown up at his old work. I'm worried that Brock is losing it. Maybe they need to make him one of those tapes like in 50 First Dates to tell him that he has to turn up at Raw every week. You're the Universal Champion, Paul Heyman loves you. You gotta come to Raw. Brock could obviously just be a fan of pugilism. It seems like something much bigger is being set up. Before the bout, a journalist Jeremy Botter tweeted to say that sources have told him that Brock Lesnar will fight the winner of tonight's main event in November at Madison Square Garden for the UFC heavyweight title. So then, after Cormier handily knocks out Miocic in the first round, it seems as if Botter's rumours are becoming a reality. Especially as DC, who is now light heavyweight and heavyweight champion UFC, got on the mic and called Lesnar into the octagon, which is the equivalent of inviting the bull into the china shop. Lesnar then steps into the cage, walks up to DC and shoves him. I know we're not in WWE anymore, Toto, but this all looked a little worky to me. From DC saying, Brock Lesnar, get your ass in here! To the push, to Joe Rogan grinning as Lesnar let rip on the mic, calling Mia Chich a piece of S-word, and then telling DC, I'm coming for you, mother lover. Or something to that effect, and then punching the camera. One, cameras are expensive, so be respectful, and two, it was basically a WWE promo. Adding to the promo vibes was walking promo machine Paul Heyman. You may remember had a big long FB post about Lesnar pursuing ultimate opportunities over defending his Universal title, as there was no one in WWE who was worthy. Well, after the fight and the various cage-based shenanigans, he tweeted, first of all, profound hashtag respect for DC achieving his lifelong dream and cementing his legacy in Europe. UFC on a completely different note, just for the record. <clears throat> Brock Lesnar! Hashtag UFC 226 at WWE, hashtag Universal Champion at Brock Lesnar, your humble hashtag advocate. It's all well and good everyone getting excited for this fight and trotting out their catchphrases. But trust me on this one, Lesnar is still technically suspended for a drug violation in his last UFC run. And it's something Dana White brought up in the post-fight presser, saying Lesnar would have to be in the USADA testing pool for five or six months to serve out his suspension before being allowed to compete inside the octagon. Daniel Cormier then told ESPN that Lesnar only entered the program last week, meaning that we'd have to wait until at least January 2019 for this bout to happen. But DC has made it public knowledge that he will be retiring when he turns 40 next March, but there's a very limited window to get these two inside the cage. But according to rumor ruminator Jeremy Botter, if you remember him from earlier, Lesnar is already in the pool. He retweeted Fightful.com's Sean Ross Sap, saying that multiple sources had confirmed to him that Lesnar is in the pool and is hidden from public viewing in their database. So it kind of depends if he's secretly been in there for a few months or just since last week, whether we get this fight in November or next year. But what has this got to do with wrestling, I hear you ask? You're slightly muffled though, because it's quite hard to hear in this mask. It's kind of hard to tell what the happenings in the octagon mean for the squared circle because Pythagoras never came up with a theory for that one lazy if you ask me. But WWE.com did post a statement in response to Brock's appearance and they said, we don't know who the next challenger for Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship will be, but we do know his upcoming opponent, UFC heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier. Speculation has run rampant over Lesnar's future for much of this year, starting with Lesnar posing for photos next to White on the night of WWE Elimination Chamber 2018. Lesnar last competed in UFC in July 2016. 16. Weeks ago, Lesnar's advocate Paul Heyman revealed that the Beast's next Universal title defense was facing contractual issues due to a lack of confidence in WWE to find a suitable challenger. So it appears like WWE are in on it. Is this a cross-promotional event of some kind? It kind of makes sense. WWE have had the four horsewomen of UFC at ringside. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are now being billed as the top women on their respective brands. And Dana White does show up every so often. Some have even suggested 
suggested that this is part of a really overcomplicated heel turn for Brock. He's been called out by Roman Reigns for not showing up to work, and now he's absconding with the championship to compete for a different company entirely. Surely that's got to get you some heat. I mean, it all falls apart if he loses, but what if he wins? Well, he could have an even bigger name in his future, according to ESPN's Arash Makazi, who tweeted, Brock Lesnar will be cleared to return to the UFC by January 2019. Conor McGregor is expected to return by then too. ESPN's deal with UFC begins January 2019. Now, this is pure speculation from me. There's a significant weight difference between Brock and Conor, which makes the UFC fight kind of tough, unless McGregor gets really, really Judy Dench or I guess Brock cuts off one of his massive hands. So the two of them could have a potential match in WWE, cross-promoted by UFC. I think there's potential. And obviously McGregor has had some strong opinions on professional wrestling, so maybe it's unlikely. But then again, he has voiced strong opinions on just about everything. You don't want to know what he makes of the new Thundercats. But he also did do those terrible Burger King adverts. So anything's possible with money. Chris Hero was originally meant to be in The Shield. Oh no, oh yes. And you can find out the true origin of The Shield by clicking the video on screen now. And give us a subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest wrestling news. I've been El Fakador, and that was Lucha, but mostly UFC.